there, Halloweenies. It's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you. And today we're going to be talking about tradition. Now, tradition is a pretty universal thing. Everybody in their life has some sort of tradition, big or small, specific day or not, be it Halloween, Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, their birthday, anything at all, chances are you have some sort of tradition in your life that you like to follow. And I'm no different. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Halloween traditions, the things that during the Halloween season I have to do, or it just doesn't feel like Halloween to me. I may as well start with my most obvious one, my Halloween videos. This is a relatively new tradition for me, seeing as I've only been on YouTube for about three years. But ever since I started doing YouTube, every October I do an entire month of Halloween videos. It's something I've always wanted to do, like when I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel, and now that I have one, man, I can't wait to do it every damn year. I always try to think of new and fun topics to talk about, and just kind of bring Halloween spirit to myself and anybody who uh, chooses to watch. Granted, it's not for everybody, but who cares, it's my channel, I enjoy having fun on my channel. And ever since I've been starting doing it, I cannot imagine going another October without doing my Halloween videos. Just taking a week off work, do fun Halloween activities, and focus on these fun videos for you guys. My next tradition are my marathons. Obviously, I'm a big horror movie fan, and my collection is getting bigger and bigger every year. Before, I just had a few that I'd watch on Halloween, but now my collection is so big, and I don't want to leave any out, I have to watch them all throughout the entire month, because there's no possible way I can watch them in one night. There just aren't enough hours in the day. But that's a gigantic tradition for me. It would not be Halloween if I didn't get watch Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, the rest, uh, not so much. Uh, the Fly, Reanimator, Return of the Living Dead. All these movies are amazing, and I would not be Halloween without watching them. Another marathon I really like to partake in is my Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Marathon. You all already know I'm a gigantic fan of The Simpsons and Halloween, so their Halloween specials are the fucking jackpot for me. I believe I have the first 12 downloaded on my PlayStation and on DVD, so between switching back between those, I always have to watch all of those. And there's also a lot of other TV shows that are horror-themed that I enjoy watching. For example, I like watching the regular show Halloween specials, there are a few King of the Hill Halloween episodes I enjoy watching, and there are a bunch of sitcoms like Home Improvement and Roseanne that I enjoy sitting down and watching too. It just wouldn't be Halloween without a shit ton of marathons. The next one is a pretty universal tradition for essentially anybody who enjoys Halloween, and of course, that is pumpkin carving. To me, it would not be Halloween without pumpkin carving. Opening up the top, digging your hand in, getting out all the goo and the guts, feeling it squish between your fingers, drawing a spooky face on it and carving it out. It's even fun for someone like me, who has zero artistic abilities. And of course, this tradition has to go along with another tradition, because it wouldn't be pumpkin carving without watching It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Probably the best uh, Halloween special ever made. It's uh, been around, what, since the fucking 60s? My, I know my parents watched it, I'm going to watch it, and if I ever have children, they're going to fucking watch it too, come hell or high water. And the fun thing about pumpkin carving for me is, I'm actually really allergic to the inside of a pumpkin. Anytime I put my hands inside, I get like hives all over my arms. So I have to wear gloves when I do it, but that still doesn't stop me from having a great Halloween time. My next tradition is of course my horror video games. I'm not much of a gamer anymore, but every Halloween there are a few video games that I have to play. Many of you have already noticed my Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare poster. Red Dead Redemption is already an amazing game, but when they added the uh, zombies, uh, the Horse of the Apocalypse, the Chupacabra, Bigfoot, and much, much more, man, it went from an amazing game to an amazing game for monster lovers. I play it every year. It feel, Nothing feels better than riding around on your horse, blasting zombies in the face, than going up to tall trees and seeing if you can find Bigfoot. It is so much fun, and any horror fan who enjoys video games will most likely enjoy that DLC pack. Another game that I really enjoy playing during this time of the year is Infamous Festival of Blood. I'm a colossal Infamous fan, so when they added a Halloween DLC where the main character becomes a vampire, man, it was a fucking dream come true. Unfortunately, the game was a bit of a letdown. It's super short, and they had to remove all the blood so they could still get a teen rating, which really blows. When you bite somebody, you want to see a splash of blood come up, not just them kind of drop to the ground. So if there was more blood and it was a bit longer, the game would have been much, much better, but it's still something short you can play on your PlayStation 3, it's fun, why the hell not? There are a few other games that I try to play, but it's kind of hard to get them in my already busy schedule. For example, I love the Dead Space series, but those games are so long it's hard to fit them in. Same with Resident Evil 7. That game was super scary and I loved it, but it's just so long. I'm trying to finish it before Halloween, but who the hell knows if I'm going to get to it. My next tradition is something unfortunately I had to miss out on this year, and that is going to the Halloween haunt at Canada's Wonderland. 
If you don't know what Wonderland is, it's essentially a colossal theme park in Toronto, Ontario. It is always so much fun, especially during October. Because in October, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they close this, uh, the theme park down a little early and redo the whole place to reopen at night for the Halloween haunt. They fill the place with fun Halloween attractions, haunted houses. They get actors to dress up as zombies, ghosts, and monsters to follow you around and scare the shit out of you. It is so much fun. If you're ever in Ontario during the Halloween season, I highly suggest you go see it. And if you live in Canada and you haven't gone there, man, you are fucking missing out. But if you live anywhere else, man, you gotta come and see it. I'm sure most states uh, already have something like that to call their own, but um, you know, in Canada, there just really isn't that much of them. So Wonderland really is a, a very fun time for anybody who goes. So if you like Halloween, you like theme parks, you like haunted houses, that's the place, uh, the place to be, you know? My personal favorite haunted house there is the sci-fi house. Everything is in black and white. It's like walking into an old 50s black and white movie. It is so much fun. Unfortunately, I did have to miss it this year because my cat got really sick and she needed emergency surgery. So I had to haul her ass over to the vet, she needed to get surgery, and then I had to come home and take after, and you know, look after her to make sure she was all right. And that happened on the day where I was scheduled to go to the Halloween haunt and I had my tickets and everything, but that's just the way she goes sometimes, you can't win them all. My cat's life is a bit more important than going to a theme park, you guys know how it is. But uh, like I said, if you guys ever come to Canada during the Halloween season, you owe it to yourself to check out the Halloween haunt at Canada's Wonderland. My next tradition is one I'm starting this year, I'm gonna be doing every year going forward, and that is getting a horror tattoo. Tomorrow morning, I'm heading off to get a nice big horror tattoo on my arm. Now, it's not my first tattoo, I already have one on my leg, but you can't really see it unless I take my pants off, and I don't think anybody wants to see that. So yeah, every October I'm going to be getting a horror tattoo. I found an artist who does really good horror work in my area, so I can't wait to go and uh, get her to do a nice cool design. I'm not going to ruin uh, what the design is until I show it off, and you guys will see that very soon. But I can't wait to get it done, and I already have ideas in my head of what I want to get every other October in the near future. Now, essentially those are all my current uh, traditions for Halloween, but there are a few I would like to start doing in the future, mainly if I'm ever able to afford a house, because right now I'm just in a one bedroom apartment. If I'm ever able to afford a house, I want to decorate the living fuck out of my house. I want kids to see my house and be like, that place is amazing and I want to get it, go trick or treating there. One day I would like to do like a haunt, if I ever have like a garage in my house, to do like a nice little haunted house in there. Granted, I'm sure there are some liabilities and probably asking for a lawsuit, but it still seems like a fun idea. Even if I can't achieve it, it is still something fun I'd like to think about. So yeah, that's uh, some of my future traditions I'd like to do. And of course, if I ever have children, I want to, you know, uh, get them dressed up and take them out trick-or-treating and just have a great time on Halloween with my kids, if I ever have them. So those are essentially all of my Halloween traditions, but I want to know about your guys' Halloween traditions. Do you have any? Do you like Halloween? Do you not like it? What do you do during this time of the year? Do you do it by yourself? Do you do it with your family? Please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what your Halloween traditions are. So that's it for today's video. If you like the way you saw it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. Check out some of my past videos and share it with a few of your friends. Why not? If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I also have a P.O. box open. All of that information is down in the description. I have a bunch of the Halloween logo patches left. So if you'd like to get your very own Halloween logo patch, you can click right over here. There's also a link in the description. Overall, thank you very much for watching, guys. And stay spooky.